Hey guys, Christy here with Con Artists, giving you another video, hopefully much better than last year. Gotten a little bit better at this thing. So anyways, so first things first, I gotta empty out the Husky so that I can reorganize everything and put all the new stuff in it and then get it ready to get put in the car um, in a couple days when a friend of mine has to help me lift it because it is entirely too heavy. So anyways, this is all the convention stuff that I have to take on the road. This is just my stuff. This is not Emily's. This is only mine. So, here we go. Alright. The Husky has been emptied. And I now have everything that I need for the convention on my floor. So, first things first. Drawing board. You need a drawing board if you're going to draw at a table. Because if you draw on the table, it just comes out all weird because perspective is not your friend, so just get one. They're like ten dollars, if even, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whichever. That black little thing is what we affectionately call a cauldron. It's what Emily and I call them because she keeps breaking them. And she just constantly ruins cauldrons in Pottermore. So that is my cauldron. It's full of all of my eight and a half by eleven prints and anything else I need to cut as far as buttons. The thing behind it is my button bin. That is where my button machine lives and where all my pre-cut buttons are down below. It's a gigantic tackle box from Academy. It's all it is. It's nothing fancy. It's pretty cool though. Isn't that awesome? It's totally cool. This black thing next to it, this portfolio that I drew on when I was a freshman in high school is full of the 11 by 17 prints that I have ready for Psychocon and any other convention if they overflow and I don't sell them all. This thing is the display. This is what goes and gets put up behind our table and holds up all of our pretty prints that you guys get to see and that way you don't have to flip through books because I know it sucks to flip through a book on an artist's table and it's awkward because you think the artist is like buy my stuff when really we just kinda wanna talk so you don't have to run away all the time anyways over here are my badges they're on sale I'm tired of hauling these things around please buy them and get them away from me right next to that are the button parts for the large button machine my button machine and the small button machine parts for Emily's machine because we share button makers. Yay! Saving money! Right here we have stickers! Woo! Stickers! They're a dollar each, people. Just saying. Uh, badge clips, cardstock paper, plastic sleeves to put commissions in, commission supplies, woo! Business cards, part four the display, because there were a few conventions where I lost them, so I don't do that anymore. Over here we have the binders that are going to be full of buttons and stickers and decals. Zip ties, because you can never have too many freaking zip ties. Money box, because Iron Man protects my cash. And finally, the markers. There they are. That is the product of many years saving. Birthdays, Christmases, you name it. I get markers for it. If you're an artist and you want to play with these, tell your family to buy them for you. Like, oh, I don't know which ones you want. Okay, then give me a gift card. There's a few, there's a website that I love and it's great. Okay? Okay, so everything's ready. I've printed everything. I've cut everything. I just spent like three hours cutting freaking stickers because I love you guys and I don't want to just give you half-assed stickers. So I cut them all for you because I love you, okay? So, now it's time to load up the Husky and get it in the car. Woo! Alright. This video is officially over. All it is is just a fast-forwarded version of me repacking the damn thing that I've already had to unpack and I told you about stuff and I, I hope it wasn't boring. 
I hope you're kind of getting an idea of what it's like to be a convention artist. We're going to be doing more of these videos. I don't think they will all be this boring. If it was boring, if it was cool, then they will all be this cool. If it was boring, then they won't all be this boring. St we're still getting used to this. Um, Emily won't be doing a SciFiCon video because it's in her hometown, so why would she do a video about getting ready for her convention when she's already there? But, yeah, so I'll be in Lake Charles this weekend. Um, feel free to swing by our table and come say hello. Bye, guys.